Hey everyone, this is Rick Morgan. I wanted to review a cleaning job by Buck Farmer. He submitted some photos to me, um, and this is the initial front front. Oh, actually, this is the initial front picture here of this Kzar number 13. So here are his steps. One, he warmed a few minutes between 120 and 140 degrees, uh, presumably in his cleaning press. He cleaned with fresh ImmacuClean and cotton pads. And he did a distilled water wash after a couple minutes. Usually that means to squirt some distilled water on a cotton pad and wash it off. He set aside into the same uh, to AT12. I think that's a, a different book here. After dry to the touch, he went to the dry to the touch. He used a staple tool and a pry bar to remove the staples. So he's removing the cover. He put the cover on acrylic and misted with 6% peroxide from the height of about three feet. He spent four hours on each side in a two panel light box, which is uh, his own design, I think. I'm not sure this might be mine. After he felt satisfied with the maximum foxing removal, he washed the book in the Macu Cube. He said there were no stains, but I wanted to wash the dirt out further. I think it tightened up nicely from the wash. Then I let it dry on a cookie rack, pressed with chamfered boards, front and back, and voila, the magic happened. Thanks, Rick, is what he says here. So let's review these these uh, these pictures and take a look. So let's have a little look. And this is the initial cover. We've got some, looks like some dust shadow there. A lot of dirt and foxing on this book. It's pretty nasty. Corners are pretty square. Some Obviously some spine ticks and some spine roll here, but let's see what it looks like when we are done. So this is good, and I, I like this, I'm gonna, I might say this a few times, because it's clean, but not too clean. It's not so clean that it's obviously been clean. This is cleaner, they've got some uh, marks here still on the cover. Definitely brighter, for, I would say, absolutely. Here's the bottom left corner. That's pretty dirty. This would be m maybe a two, maybe not, maybe like a 1.5, I'd say. And obviously better, like, like the angle of that spine has a nice shape to it here using the uh, chamfer boards, I presume, for that. We've got the upper left corner, like where we're, the letterbox would be, pretty dirty. And afterwards, clean. I don't see any obvious loss of color. No pebbling, no marks. It looks, looks pressed, but doesn't look particularly clean. Upper left-hand corner, dirty, clearly. A little blunted there, nice and flat. Yeah, cleaner. Could it be cleaner than this? Yeah, but you know what? This is clean enough. It looks not falsely, fakely, fakey, and phony and clean. Oh, here we go, a staple. A little bit of rust here. Holes are pretty tight, a lot of dirt. Let's see what this looks like after. Yeah, I can't quite tell if it's rusty at all, but it, the holes are still just as tight. They're not been widened at all by replacing the cover. It looks good and again not perfect but great we've got a folded a little dog ear here the old LaSalle um, University Let's see we have this dirt and strangely whiter towards the end whiter and let's see what this looks like and better again could be could be better better yeah but it looks good enough I would say and you could probably take an eraser to some of that stuff and clean it up if you really wanted to go to town on it but it's 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 a good job and i thank buck for for sharing with us uh, yeah that's all i really wanted to show today thanks buck